A new level of transparency begins today in Ohio nursing homes. Cameras in residents' rooms. It's called Esther's Law, and it's been in the works for nearly a decade by a man who caught abuse firsthand with a hidden camera. Marissa Sines reports. The cameras are not to catch abuse. The cameras are to stop abuse. This video, surveilled by a hidden camera, tucked away, is what fueled a fire under Steve Piscor. That's his mother, Esther, while she was living in the Metro Health Nursing Home. We caught about six weeks of abuse. Piscor's initiative to uncover his mother's abuse resulted in two aides jailed, another three fired, with three more disciplined. It's something that you know I've been fighting for for 10 years, trying to get this law passed. Wednesday, Ohio joined a handful of other states that will legally allow residents and their families to install cameras inside of the room. We want the camera on the open. We want everybody to see the camera. The law requires residents to pay for and install the cameras themselves. There must be a sign present upon entering, giving notice of their surveillance. And that consent must be given by any other resident in the room. There's a, a little bit of apprehension um, since it is something new. Pete Van Runkle, executive director of the Ohio Healthcare Association, says this concern comes from the Big Brother oversight, which also serves as a layer of accountability. Knowing that you're going to be filmed or recorded, anyone who might be prone to doing something inappropriate, it would put them on notice. If it prevents one incident, um, you know, it's worth it. After months on end of isolation as family or friends were banned from visiting nursing homes because of the pandemic, technology became an integral means of communication. For Esther, the piss scores, this is deeper. The law should have been passed a long time ago. I mean, if, if I would have had this law, I mean, my mother would have never been abused, you know. Hopefully this will help other families to stop it from happening. Yeah, Van Runkel says there are some questions about what kind of cameras will be allowed, such as two-way communication cameras or solely surveillance cameras. Piscor says he's hoping to work with legislators to make some amendments to the law in the next General Assembly. Laura. All right, Marissa signs live for us tonight. Marissa, thank you.